Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to another video. So today we're doing another cooking with Jesus and Ashley and we're going to be showing you guys how we make um, Sonoran style hot dogs from the way we used to eat them Arizona. back home in Arizona. Um, we've seen a lot of places make hot dogs very different, but this is the way that we make them while they make them back home. So yeah, we, we're going to go ahead and start. We already rolled these. I just left a couple out so I can show you guys. So literally all you do is just roll your weenie in the bacon in the bacon. Sorry. Pretty simple. Set that to the side and then we'll do one more. They're simple and they're super They're bomb. so good, yeah. And the best way, well, uh, we usually make them with, uh, you can show them that stuff. So that's usually what you do. And then here's what we put on top of them. Yep, we have the... Grilled onions. Tomato. Tomatoes. Guac. guac. And you can make your guac however you make it. Yeah. If you like more watery, make it more watery, chunky. Me, then, I love the, they always, they always have mushrooms. mushrooms. Out. They have like a whole little setup when you get your hot dog, you put it all together and I like mushrooms. And then these are the rolls we use. We use the, it's just the bolillo breads. You yeah. make them for the, with the menudo too, you make them. Mm -hmm. So, and then also a main ingredient is going to be the beans. We already put them in here to start warming, but just whole pinto beans. Yeah, because they go on top of your hot dog, pretty much. Well, we'll show you. And this is just traditional way. If you don't eat pinto beans and you eat black beans or something else, that, yeah, they have a different flavor, but shouldn't be a big deal to substitute them, right? Yeah. And you could say, like, you don't have to use the beans, but this is the Sonoran style hot dog. Yeah, so that's everything kind of what makes it. And then you're also going to need, you're also going to need um, mayonnaise, but we'll get to that once we start putting it all together. Yeah. So I've been having this pot. Uh, warming on low, so we're just gonna go ahead and put our hot dogs on there. And then the best way to do it so they don't get unstuck, the the last piece that you rolled, try to put it on that piece so it can kind of cook and get stuck onto there. That way they don't. It'll fry. Cut, yeah. It'll like connect to the other piece. Well, it doesn't get all unraveled and then you got... And some people, like say if you, you know, you do have a hard time rolling them, they do use a toothpick. Oh yeah. And then just use... to hold it while it's cooking, remember to take your toothpick out before you... Yeah, you don't <laughs> want your kids or your family eating the toothpick. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave those cooking. I'm going to cover them just so they don't make a mess. But yeah, we'll leave those, we'll leave those um, cooking once they're done. We'll get back and we'll show you how we assemble our Sonoran hot dogs. So we finished cooking our our weenies. You just have to cook them until just roll them over so make sure they're cooked all the way around. Um, the bacon. And then you're just going to get your bread. We chop off the top so it's more like of a flat bread so it's not too much bun. But you can just slice it open put it in there. Um, we're going to go ahead and put some mayonnaise in there. I only have a fork because we're packing so I don't have enough stuff. And I guess if you don't care for mayonnaise, you don't have to put mayonnaise. Any of this stuff is optional, but just this is the way we make them. Yeah, these buns, um, they don't come... Sliced? They don't come sliced, so what we do is... um. Well, right today, this is the first time we actually did <laughs> We just kind of chopped, chopped off the, the top, top, and then we just slice a little slit right in there. So then you're just going to get your your weenie and you're just gonna pop it in there they're still really hot i literally just took them off the thing try to like push it in there so you have room for all your stuff and then that's kind of what it should look like mm -hmm. and then you said add stuff how in whatever order you want i don't think that really matters i'm gonna go with but usually beans. that's right they put the beans and usually they have the squirt mayonnaise they just put it on top at the end yeah, put as many beans as you want to your liking. Some grilled onions, however many you would like. Tomatoes. Don't mind him, guys. He used the fork for every single thing. Yeah, I used the same fork for everything, whatever. It's fine. And then just uh, your guac. Yeah. And they usually, uh, in Arizona, they actually serve these with um, the chiles, the hueros. They're like, you know, mm -hmm. that's what they're called on the widows. 
I was gonna buy some jalapenos, but to be honest, I totally forgot. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what it should look like. Hold on, hold on. It's not focusing. Yep. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try, and it is messy because it's a super big hot dog, so don't be scared to get it all over your face. They are good, guys. So make them. Amazing. Really good. Super good. It's weird because we live, obviously, for those of you who know and been watching, we live out in Vegas now. We've been here what about four years. Mm-hmm. And we can we can't find these here. They don't have them. Usually the bun is steamed, so you can put it in the microwave so it gets a little soft. But anytime I go back home, I have to have one of these yeah but yeah that's basically it. i'll go ahead and take one more bite and then we'll see you guys next time